Today is March 7, 2008, and I'm Jessica back for another episode of Sports Shorts. Men's basketball was defeated by Washington in their last home game of the season, 87-84. They played USC yesterday and will play UCLA on Saturday for their last couple games of the 07-08 season. They'll play in the Pac-10 tournament March 12th through the 15th down in LA. Women's basketball also fell to the Huskies, ending their last chance to get the Pac-10 title. But it was the best regular season for the Cal women's basketball team. They have the second seed in the Pac-10 tournament, which will take place down in San Jose. Men's baseball is now number 18 after their three wins against ranked teams in the San Diego tournament this weekend. They beat Fresno State, San Diego State, and University of San Diego. They now have a 6-1-1 record with their win against, get this, Stanford and their non-league game on Tuesday. Josh Satin was named the Pac-10 Player of the Week. Now we're going to kick it to be Jolie, who would hit Sproul with a question for the Cal fans. Thanks, Jess. Um, we have a little bit of an off-season question that we're going to ask out on Sproul today. Now the basketball season's almost over and the hopes for the team have long been dead, we're going to check out who people want to see as our quarterback for next year, Kevin Riley or Nate Longshore. Let's find out what they say. For next season, I think I'd rather see Nate Longshore as quarterback because uh, he's going to be a senior, right? And I just want him to go out strong. Um, Kevin Riley has two more years here. And just the way he played in the Oregon State game, it's a little bit suspect. So I want someone who's a little bit more stable. I know late, Nate Longshore is just injured last season, so I expect his performance to be a little bit different. Why? Why? He's a better quarterback than Longshore is, for sure. Okay. I would say Kevin Riley because I have a class with him, and he's a cool guy. And I think he deserves it. And he played really well his last game. Riley. Because I think um, in the bowl game, he did a really sick job. Simple as that. You know, uh, Longshore has been with us for a long time, but Riley did have uh, had a, a, some golden moments yeah. at the Air Force game. So, you know, I'm not a sport analysis, but I just say, you know, uh, let the coach, I think Tedford will know what to do better than me. All right, I'm out of here. Thanks for that, B. Jolie. Also, in indoor track and field, Cal took four titles in the MPSF championships. Ed Wright in the high jump with 2.21 meters, freshman Sherelle Garrett in the 16 meter dash with her PR time of 7.40, Michael Coe in the 3,000 meters with his personal record of 7.59.75, and our player to watch for the week, Alicia Johnson, who reset the school record in the indoor 800 with a time of 2.03.39, and set the MPSF record. Alicia Johnson is five-time All-American, running the 800, 400, and the 4x4. She has the outdoor record of 159.29, which is the third fastest collegiate time in history. Her indoor school record for the 400 is 54.48. She anchored Cal's fastest regional qualifying 4x4 relay with her school record of 335.46. Basically, she's pretty damn fast. Well, that's all the time we have for today, so be sure and check back in with caltv.org to get your download on what's up in Cal Sports.